What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Prodigious Customs YouTube channel. I'm Jason Stoltz and today we're working on a Dodge. I know it's a little different than the Celicas that we've been working on, but this has been my daily for a long time and that fast fuel pump down there has stopped working. Not completely, but it's causing issues and I want to go ahead and rectify that. So if I'm anything like you, I love performance parts. So that's why this truck has that on there. It's ran great up until now. It's always had some sort of noise from it, just kind of a whine, and I figured, eh, that's the pump, because a lot of pumps make noise. Well, last time I went to drive the truck, there was no noise, and I was like, oh crap, we have an issue. So I pop the hood, check the fuse, well, it's blown. Like, oh, no big deal, just pop a fuse in it, drive it home, and as soon as I get home, I check that fuse, well, it's blown again. I'm like, well, what the heck? So I open the hood, put a fuse in it, turn the key on, the pump will run, no issues. It just stays running as soon as it primes, it stops, you can bump the key and it keeps going. So, okay, next step, check your relay because the relay, once it's under load, could pop it. Well, I swapped out the relay, same thing. It'll run, but as soon as you fire the truck up, it'll blow the fuse. So, after lots of searching and forums and all the goodness of the internet, I was able to find that oftentimes these motors will wear out and ground out on themselves under load. So I've checked everything else. I've checked my grounds, my powers, everything, the relay, all the harness is good to go. There's no grounding out on the chassis somewhere between here and the battery. So I bought myself a new motor and there's no real videos or anything out there. So I figured I'd make one. So I hope you enjoy it. And if there is other videos out there, I'd love to hear from you. Throw them in the comments below. I'd like to give people justice where justice is owed. But with that said, let's get into pulling this thing out of here and swapping in the new one. First things first, disconnect your battery. You don't need hot wires or anything floating around. And second, go ahead and really clean around your pump because you don't want any debris falling down between your mating surfaces when you go to throw your new pump on there. So brake clean is gonna be your friend. Clean the mating surfaces all the way around that T-block and then pull it off, but first clean it. Okay, next thing's next. We're gonna be pulling this bolt out that comes into this housing, and as well as the electrical connector to the pump itself back here. And then we'll be pulling this filter off, and there are four Allen bolts that go up into this housing, and we'll pull that off. So let's go to that point. Here it is, motor's out. And you can see the check ball and your two O-rings. And now let's take a look at the replacement kit. So I guess I should have mentioned earlier, this is the titanium series pump. So here's my replacement. It's an RPT 1005 pump. I got directions from fast fuel, but it's really hard to see, especially where like the check ball goes based on their images. Maybe their printer was running out of ink. I don't know. So that's why I decided to make this video because really there was no good videos on it. So unboxing it here, take out our new pump. Do a visual inspection, make sure your plug's the same. Everything's good. It also comes with a bag for new O-rings and your new check ball. And your check ball is gonna go, it's gonna be easier for you to set it on the base of the pump if it's not out. If you are taking the whole pump and setting it on a bench, you can just drop it right in the deeper of the two holes. It doesn't go in this one, but in the deeper. And that is hard to see on the pictures so I'm going to set that check ball 
on the pump it's on the pump housing itself and then we'll get this thing thrown back in here buttoned up fired up and hopefully back to good so let's get to throwing this back on the truck and fire it up all right as you can see i took more time pushed more of the dirt off cleaned it out give ourselves more room that way we're not risking having a piece of dirt in the way to mess up our seal so i got our new check ball here sits right in that hole make sure that this is good and clean there's no dirt it's all cleaned off and we'll set the pump back up there and start throwing bolts in it now if your o-rings do not stick in the holes very well mine fit very well you can go ahead and throw a little bit of grease on them or whatever i'm also going to put a little bit of fuel down each of these holes that way the pump is primed more or less they say you can spray some sort of lubricant like I imagine WD-40 would be fine just to help lubricate things in there, get it going. But I like diesel, so we're going to throw some diesel in there. The recommended torque for the four Allens into the base is 110 inch-pounds. If you don't have an inch-pound... Uh, torque wrench you can set yours to just over nine so between nine and ten if you're happy with nine if you're happy with ten i'd go ten just because it's tighter that's the recommended torque so torque them down that way you don't have any issues when it comes to warranty time if there was an issue you can be like no i torqued it down to the proper torque spec Alrighty, we got the fuse in it now and the ground back attached. Let's go ahead and just cycle the key just to see what it's going to sound like. So it's working, obviously, you can hear it pumping it's not any quieter than the last one so maybe there's an issue unknown might send it in I know fast has a program where you can send your pump back to them and they will go ahead and rebuild it okay we'll bump the key just to make sure it still runs we don't have any leaks currently so that's good looking good Let's go ahead and fire it up and make sure that we're not going to blow any fuses. So kind of a test that you can do is you can put your ear up to your filler neck and maybe hear that it's still flowing before it would cut right off. So we're back to rolling, baby. Alrighty, everybody, that's gonna wrap up the video. It's, uh, it's just five bolts, two O-rings, and a check ball. That'll get you swapped out. That'll get you back up and running, worry-free. It'll take you less than an hour to do, so I'd highly recommend it. Take care of your vehicles, keep them running, and you could be happy and your pocketbook will be happy. So anyway, Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great freaking day.